Welcome back. This is John Locke, and today I'm answering this great question that comes from the Reddit SEO board, and this is about creating a whole new website for backlinks. I think this is a very common question. One of the questions I see in SEO forums about once a week, uh, so it says, I run a site that sells boat tours on a famous river. I'm a developer, web developer, and I don't know much about off-site SEO. I'm thinking of creating a whole site dedicated to facts and history of the river with links to the tourist service where it makes sense. Do you think this will be worth the effort or is it too obvious what I'm doing? So I haven't read any of the comments below this, but I'm going to tell you what I think. I, you know, one site, if it's all about the river, that might be good, uh, but you're going to need more than that. You're going to need more than just links from one site because if you start a site, it's basically going to start off uh, with no authority. It's going to that site's going to start off with no links. Nobody's linking to that site, so that site is not going to pass any page rank. So think about it like a uh, think about it like a um, water that you're pouring into a bucket. If you have a website and you want to get it to fill up with water and have no a link authority, then you're going to want to dump a bunch of water into that via links from other sites. So the sites that link to you, they pour out some of their water, their link juice into your site. So if you're starting a brand new site, that's not going to give you a ton. might give you a little bit, but you're going to have to establish that site to have it be beneficial to your site. So you're you're basically going to be doing two sites. So it's great if you want to add that as an extra, but just having a link from that one site that you just created in order to link to your site is not going to be sufficient. Let's say for the sake of argument that you are giving river tours on the Mississippi River, seeing as how that's the most famous river in uh, the United States. So as you can see, River Tours, Mississippi River, or let's go even better, uh, Boat Cruise. Uh, yeah, let's say Mississippi River Cruises. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, so Mississippi River Cruises. You can see American uh, Cruise Lines is, they have two results up here. This score right here, overall link profile strength. And by the way, this is in KW Finder. This is a tool that you can get. I think it costs $150 a year. Pretty economical. Uh, but American Cruise Liners, they have two different pages. You can see link profile strength, 60, 59. Uh, these other ones, DA, Domain Authority, PA, Page Authority, those are from Moz. Citation flow, trust flow, those are from Majestic. This is total links. I think they pull this from Moz. And then uh, I think this is Facebook shares. Uh, this sometimes also includes check-ins. But you can see link profile strength. We'll just look at that. But American Cruise uh, Lines has a 69 or a 60 and a 59. Uh, at number three, you got American Queen Steamboat, that's number 40, number 47, River Cruise, Advisor, 35, USA River Cruise is 41, 42, 37, Cruise Critic, Cruise Cheap. So if you start a brand new site that's all about facts about the, the whatever famous river that you're giving tours on, that's going to start probably with a link profile strength of about four. So the just from what I've seen, um, just from experience in this, brand new sites usually have a link profile strength of in in this particular tool uh, between zero and four. Now in something like Ahrefs, it might be zero or one. So that is what you're going to be flowing into your tour site. Now I got a better idea for you. Build links from sites that already exist and already have some authority built up. Sites that are already established in Google is 
being worthy of ranked and have uh, some of that link equity, link juice, page rank that they can pass into your site. So you're going to have to do some outreach and you're going to have to do some research and you're going to have to write some emails. And you're probably thinking that's a lot of work and probably easier just to make a site and then link to it. But like I said, that's not going to get it done on its own, probably. So let's say, for sake of example, that you're giving river tours on the Mississippi River. But you see here, if it, we just Google things to do on Mississippi River, and what we're looking for is sites that we could potentially get a link from. So let's say river attractions experience the Mississippi River. Okay, so river attractions in all these different states. You can uh, drill down into these different uh, things here. So here's different centers that they're linking to here. Interpretive centers, locks and dams, scenic overlooks. Okay. Now you're probably not going to get a link here because you're, it would be to a commercial uh, thing and they don't seem to be linking to anybody else. Here's another one that I found. It was from houseboating.org, top things to do on the Mississippi River. And let's see if they're linking here. This is to another uh, page on their site. That's to another page on their site. This is the link out to takemefishing.org. Okay, that's a link to their site, internal link, internal link. Okay, click here for information on River Towns in between. Okay, this is a link to another site, River Towns. Okay. So towns that are on the Mississippi River. Towns. So, okay, here's a list of all the towns. If we look at just a random one here, Cochrane, Wisconsin. Okay, so Cochrane is a quiet community that sprang up as a railroad. It was built in the 1800s. Here's some other stuff. One of the most popular attractions is the Prairie Moon Gardens and Museum. Okay, so it looks like they link to the towns, and then in these town things, there's things to do. So you might reach out to somewhere like this and see if you could build a link if you're based in one of these towns somewhere. Maybe you could get a link uh, through that. But it looks like from here that they're just linking to the actual city websites. And then there's uh, different centers that they're linking to. So they're being pretty careful about who they're linking to. So they're linking to other .org types of places. So I would dig further here and... You know, Great River Road Visitor and Learning Center. Wonder if they, you know, would let you have a link somewhere. Maybe. See and do. Visitor information. Learn play event calendar. Uh, you know, let's see. Learn and play. So this is all about, like, this particular place. So obviously you're not going to get a link here. So attractions and landmarks, probably not going to get a link there. But you never know. Things to do on the Mississippi River. Mississippi River Cruises. Instead of making a brand new site, maybe take the, the site that you already have and make something like this. Things to do on the Mississippi River. And uh, this, this one, well, this actually looks like an info site. So you'd be copying something like this. And they have all these different posts that looks like... Uh, Cruises from Memphis, New Orleans, and all these different like places, and all these different uh, things here. Possibly making something like this might be a good idea. So that's a lot to think about right there. So really, it's thinking about like all the different places where you actually give tours. And I don't know how far up and down this river you go, but I would reach out to all the different towns and look at like what websites are there for the different towns that are on your stops that are on your itinerary and see if you can get links from there things to do uh riverboat tours or uh 
you know, river tours. Best Mississippi River activities in every state. You know, you could go down the list, like, however many deep you need to do this. But it's looking for, uh, you know, places that might give a link. You might even, like, reach out to someplace like this and ask them, would you mind linking to to us? And give us a link. Now, they might say no, but the worst they can say is no. The best thing they can say is yes. Uh so all these all these things are uh, an idea of what to do. So this whole concept of of making a new website for backlinks it's it's a great idea, but you're going to have to develop that site and your river tour site, your boat tour site. So you're developing and trying to establish two sites now. So I would say look around, really look at where your competition is getting backlinks from. And you could use a tool like Ahrefs to find that out. You can see what the backlink profile is. Maybe approach some similar sites or some of the same sites that your competition is getting backlinks from. Uh, let's see what people said in the comments. Okay, new site won't have any authority. Nine times out of ten will be worthless. Uh, I don't say it's worthless, but it's going to take you a long time to build that site up. So, it, like I said, you're going to be building up two sites. Uh, okay, and I think this person said, uh, oh, I heard site speed is very important, which I'm good at. Well, you're going to have to develop content too. I think this is a thing that a lot of people do. It's like they focus on schema and site speed and little things like that, and they point stuff out like, oh, the top sites don't make any sense because they're slow, badly made, and not a lot of content. Well, obviously, Google's ranking them for some kind of reason. So slow might not be as much of a ranking factor as you think. Uh, and badly made might not be as much of a, a factor as you think. Though I, I do believe that design plays a role. But you got to start with content. Competition that you're seeing have slow websites that are aged and do, in fact, have a lot of backlinks. That's probably true. And what they're saying here to this person that replied, other factors are becoming more important. Yeah, but you got to have the right content or you're not going to rank. And you're going to have to have some backlinks as well. Um, and then everybody always says this stuff. Think about who your customer is, what they'd be interested in, why. You're trying to build backlinks, which is really smart because uh, you're going to need to do that. This kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Um, you got to do that too. I think you, you're, you're probably already addressing that. So... Uh, this person says, why don't you do this on the website where you sell tours, have a blog, and post content? We already do this, and we're ranking pretty well. I'm trying to think of any edge we can get. Like I said, you're going to get more edge from getting a few links from sites that are already related to the river, uh, Mississippi River, uh, if that's the river that you're touring on, or whatever, um, or the towns nearby. Or something like that is going to make a lot more sense. So this person says, it can be highly effective. This is basically the start of a private blog network. And the original poster said, this is what baffles me about SEO. Advice often conflicts one another. Look, not saying that private blog networks don't work because people do build these out. Um, it's just when Google knows that they're looking at a private blog network that they get penalized. So that's all I'll say about that. Not that I use PBNs, but anyway. This person says the truth often lies somewhere in the middle, and that's probably true. Just because Google says it doesn't mean it's true. Uh, just because somebody wrote a blog post about it, giving you advice doesn't mean it's true either. So, uh, yeah, definitely. Pitch to the tourist attraction idea, that's, that's a great idea for this particular thing. Um... And this person is saying use guest posts. You could, you could do that. So those are some ideas. You know, you're going to have to build some backlinks. Uh, I know a lot of people. This is just one example. And like I said, this person, they sell boat tours on a famous river. They're trying to think of a way. They're thinking of, of getting backlinks. And they're thinking if we build another site and link, then that'll be effective. 
And I know that people in all different types of industries and businesses that are web developers have this idea. And uh, I mean, yeah, it can work. But just realize building up that second site is going to be just as much work as building up your first site. And a lot of people are just not up to it. Hope that makes sense. My name is John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. I'm here every single day making videos on SEO. I'll be here tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace.